In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the Transform tab to orient a hinge and the importance of the selection of your axis about which you're going to rotate. So let's use this example in the middle first. And if you look, we have essentially no transformation whatsoever. The X, Y, and Z are all aligned with the global frame. And then we have another component or a hinge attached out here at the end, and we've turned that 90 degrees in Z. So you see that we've got a rotation about this axis. So if we choose this, come to motion and turn it around, it behaves the way that we expect. And again, notice we're using rotations from the transform tab here and the X axis. If we come to this second one, you see we have again the X axis, 90 degree transform about the Z. And if we apply any motion here, all we're doing really is spinning this around. Okay, now the difference, if we reset these back to zero, you might think, well, you're spinning around this direction here, and this direction is the same, why isn't this one turned? The reason for that is because I haven't transformed the orientation of this hinge itself. I've simply chosen a different axis. So let's see what that looks like. In this one, notice the transform is all still zero, so both of these are aligned in the same way and there's been no transformation to the hinge itself or the components attached to it. But in the orientation tab, I chose the y-axis of this frame about which to apply the motion. So if I move this around, notice that it's pitching it up and down rather than spinning it around. Now if I pitch this up, say we're going to do the x-axis or the z-axis instead, you can pick these and it will apply that transformation as much as you like. Okay, so it's not like you pick one and then you can go in and change it. It'll remember what your motion parameter was and it will just reapply that about a different axis. So it's really handy that way. So you really do need to be careful about whether you mean to transform the hinge itself and the components attached to it or if you just mean to rotate about a different axis in that hinge. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. As a final example, we have an arbitrarily transformed hinge and a component attached to it. We're again using the x-axis to build the part, but the y-axis to perform the rotation itself. So in this case, I've applied a minus 45 rotation in x and a minus 30 in y to orient the part like this. So if I come to motion now, I can go ahead and apply this motion and it's going to rotate about that green y-axis. And again, I can come to orientation and I can pick Z, Y, or X, and it will apply the transformation for me. So that is how you can use the transform tab to align and orient a hinge, both to orient the components and the hinge itself that it's attached to, and how you can select a different axis for your rotation.